is in the black with gold trim. Israel Adesanya in the white with gold trim. You will get constant stance switches out of Adesanya. Whitaker has to make this fight a little bit dirty. It can't look too clean. If it looks too clean, you're fighting Israel's fight. If it's just a straight kickboxing match, there aren't many people in the world that can beat Israel at that. You got to make it ugly a little bit. Whitaker does believe he has the striking advantage despite what would appear to be an obvious edge in wrestling and grappling. I'm sure Adesanya might take issue with that given all the strides he has made to round out his game over the last few years. Adesanya's wrestling has improved a ton. John, so it may be discouraging for guys to try to take him down at this point. It is amazing how beloved Robert Whitaker is in this nation as he tries to find his way into striking range. Adesanya lands the jab. Nice head movement by Adesanya. You see he's wide-eyed as he tries to get his reads here early. This is what Adesanya has to do. He has to fight behind that jab. He can't allow Whitaker to get close. You know, early we talked about guys cutting weight into the wrong division. Talk about Robert Whitaker, a guy that once he went up from 170, became the champion of the world and has become one of the best pound-for-pound fighters in the entire UFC. Right, and Adesanya doesn't cut a lot of weight. We've seen the times come in as low as 183. And it looked like he touched Whitaker there. Whitaker is throwing that jab up at Adesanya. As he charges, he's throwing that jab up into Israel. And he's hit Israel a couple times. And I think Izzy respects his power now. Whitaker has been the busier striker early. Adesanya a touch more efficient. First clinch situation and a quick breakaway. Your hand is open on the release. Okay, it's okay. Look at me. Oh, take time, take time. I saw the hand open on the release. Completely accidental. Let's go. Momentary pause in the action due to an inadvertent eye poke. Back to it now. Watching how calm Edisanya is when Whitaker's throwing everything with so much heat is crazy. Sonia has forced some misses out of Whitaker here early on as he attacks the lower half, but you got to think Rob was expectant that there might be some of that. A lot of big actions by Robert Whitaker, though. Throwing big old looping punches, not being as straight as he normally is. Wants to get to Adesanya. Adesanya with authority up top. Whitaker wise to raise that right hand. Adesanya said he wouldn't be surprised by any action from Robert Whitaker tonight. Said he might try to shoot early on. That does not appear to be the case through four minutes. You see the striking numbers, the significant strikes. Less than a minute now to go round one. But just watching, you know, Whitaker's throwing everything so hard. Adesanya still just kind of feeling him out. Big lunging strikes by Whitaker. Asani trying to create an angle there. Both guys so cerebral in there, both masters at making adjustments and figure to try to make some in advance of this second round here forthcoming. A very close round, a big action. Oh. Oh, that's it. Wait, is that the end of the round? Okay, that was the horn. Okay. I mean, big.
big shot by Izzy right before the bell. And look, he could have got that shot off, but he was a good sport. Didn't land that extra punch because he didn't need to. But big moment for the interim champion. Horn sounded a lot louder on the replay than in real time. Yeah. Second round underway now. We'll see the extent to which Robert Whitaker is compromised after a big moment for the last style bender to close round one. It's because he's lunging in there. He's not taking his time. I think he watched Gaslam and saw the good that Gaslam was doing. But you got to remember, Gaslam took a lot of damage fighting in that style against Adesanya. Stiff jab from Whitaker, backs out of Sanya, and now a right hand from Bobby Knuckles. How about the dexterity, the head movement for Israel out of Sanya? Beautiful to watch. And Sanya's looking to counter with hooks whenever Robert Whitaker is, is engaged. Look at that. He's throwing the right hook when he stand switches, or he's throwing that left hook. Beautiful jab from the last style bender. He's got Rob chasing him. And he's just sliding out of range. Not going far away from Whitaker, but just enough to reestablish him taking the center of the octagon. I love that about Edisonia's fighting style. He will evade, but right away get back on the offense. Oh. oh. Hurt him again with yep. that hook. Yep. It's that right hook counter every time Robert jumps in there. That right hook counter is landing beautiful. Oh, head kick. Partially blocked. But I mean, that would still land it though. He's got Whitaker hurt. Two minutes have gone by here in round two, and if you know how to sign, you know he's not going to force the finish. Oh, beautiful body work now from Adesanya. He's starting to feel himself now. He's starting to get into his flow. Then it's not good for Robert Whitaker. Now Whitaker with a pretty good combination. Not a ton of sting on it. Well, Israel's rolling there. So nothing's landing completely clean. Sonia effectively attacks that lead leg of Robert Whitaker now. Left hook is there for the Reaper. <laughs> Whitaker dealing with some blood coming out of that nose. Goes high with the kick. Adesanya easily backs up out of harm's way. And now Whitaker goes high with the kick and lands. from Whitaker. The quickness of Adesanya to evade these high kicks. Hands down. Just leaning back out of the range of those kicks. He's got to be very careful. Less than two years into his UFC career, Israel Adesanya is what he knew and thought he was, the best middleweight on planet Earth. Declaring the winner by knockout. And now, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world.